Well, welcome to the best of rivals as we celebrate our NRL stars for their achievements both on and off the field in 2021 with the Rugby League Players Association Awards headlined, of course, by the Players' Champion Award. It's the Player of the Year as voted by the players and it will be unveiled during Nine's exclusive coverage of the Telstra Premiership Grand Final on October 3. Bring it on and what a crop it is to choose from this year. The finalists, Panther Nathan Cleary, the reigning champion, back in the mix again. Bronco Payne Haas, the 2019 Rookie of the Year. Rooster James Tedesco, well, he's been there twice before, winning it in 2017 and 2019. Can he make it three in five seasons? Siegel Tom Trebojevic, he missed the opening stages of the year, but he spearheaded Manly into the top four and now deep in the finals. And of course, the fifth and final nominee, Cody Walker. Uh, first time finalist, but uh, leading the comp in try assists. So it shouldn't be any surprise that the Rabbitohs playmaker is there as well. And joining me to have a chat about all this and so much more, 2021 contender and 2018 players champion, Connor Watson, Kalen Pong. Hello, boys. How are you, mate? You good? Really good. You guys hey, look Bryce. better, though. Yeah, thank you, mate. Thank you. I think it's the uh, Gold Coast sun. It's beautiful. <laughs> giving us a little bit of a tan. So, um, yeah, no, we're enjoying ourselves here on the Gold Coast. It's been uh, a, good, a good week, um, but yeah. Alan, I was just rattling off, obviously, um, what's going on with the Players' Champion Awards. And this year, it's getting done, obviously, a little differently because of yeah. uh, the, the COVID scenario. But I remember actually being there on the presentation night for the year you won it and interviewing you. And you were you know, young, just coming onto the scene. And, geez, you yeah. could tell how much it meant to you, how taken aback you were. What about his haircut then, Brace? It's terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was a 20-year-old uh, 20, 20 with long hair. Yeah, um, thought I, thought I was killing it, but um, yeah, I was taken aback. I think uh, the players' by award, um, it's it's up there with you know the best to be honest. To be voted by your peers as the player that they don't want to come up, come up against, um, that they think is you know doing really well, it's it's voted by your peers. So that that itself is pretty special, and yeah, it's an award that yeah, very grateful for. And Cody, you're a contender this year. How important is it? Like when you think about it, like there's it's one thing for awards to be voted by uh, people in the stands watching the game, but when it's actually people you know, that you're playing with and against, that, that must mean something pretty special. Yeah, definitely. I think um, just like Kalen said, you know, it's similar to the Players' Player Award that you that are at clubs and stuff too. And um, it just sort of means the people that you play with and against like really respect you and um, appreciate your game. Obviously, the Daily M medalist is is what it is, and but that's sort of voted by people who aren't actually out there on the pitch. So, um, you know, for Kalen to win that back back when he did to actually be voted as the best player by the other players is um, it's something really special. Is it fair to say, Kalen, too? You, you know, footy players are seeing the different. I mean, you're clearly seeing the match from a different angle. You're there, living and breathing it. So you're you're seeing a lot of what we're not seeing in the stands or yeah. the commentary box. I think not. A, yeah, not only on the field, but also I think being a player, you appreciate um, what other players put in to do what they do on the field. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, you, you know, you look at some of the the names that you just named before, and some of the things they've been through, the adversity they've been through to to be at the top of their game. As a player, you definitely uh, appreciate that a lot more um, just because you're going through it every day as well. So you know how much sacrifices and stuff uh, you're putting in and then you also understand what they're putting in. So I think not only on the field, but off the field, you appreciate it a little bit more. And there's some days, I mean, some of those names, Connor, that we just rattled off, you've obviously played against them all this year. There are moments when you're out there playing against them and you're like, wow, man, you are, you're in another world to us at the moment. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I think... Um, there, there's some of these guys, like especially Turbo, the year he's had, <laughs> just watching. Um, we only versed him once, thank he's God. Superman. But it's like he's um, Thanos with all the Infinity <laughs> Stones and he's just running through everyone and doing whatever he, want, do every, whatever he wants, whenever he pleases. So, um, yeah, you know, the five guys that have been um, named finalists, uh, the incredible talents, you know, Cody, like the most try assists, ridiculous amount of try assists, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Um, Teddy, Teddy, like he's, he's been there every every year for the past few years, and to do it, you know, with um, a, a lot of his troops injured and, and gone is um, a credit to him. Yeah, and like you know, Nathan, he's gone through the shoulder and pain. Mm. He's just a beast. I, I feel like I couldn't give it. I had to give all of them a wrap, but, um, <laughs> but yeah. they all deserve to be there. Caitlin, obviously, you know, Teddy and Turbo playing your position at fullback. How do, how do you compare those two? 
Um, how do I compare the both of them? Mm. Um, it's hard to. They're, <laughs> they're, bare, they're, they're at the top of, um, I guess, that position. Um, you look at their workload, um, but as long as, as well as that, under fatigue, or I don't even know if they are fatigued. To be honest, I don't think I don't think they get tired. Yeah, so crazy. the the amount of work that they get through, but then to also execute and um, just always be in the game. I think play for play, they're both um, you know they're, they're with Cleary and you know Cody as well. They're always in the game. Um, yeah, as a, as a fellow fullback, you definitely look at look at their workload and and what they do and how they look to get involved. And they, it's a bit inspiring. Yeah. Do you reckon, fellas, that Turbo knows how well he's going? Do you think he realises? I don't know. I mean, it'd be pretty hard not to when he's the best player yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> but every time he he's scores, Superman. A, every time he scores a try, he doesn't like seem to be like no, totally thrilled. He's whatever. just like, oh, that's that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I've just scored another one. I've just set up three tries and scored three. <laughs> it's just another game. Um, now I, I'm not too sure. It's probably is uh, from what I've heard and what everyone said. That family's got a. Uh, really good heads on their shoulders, very humble people. Mm. And I reckon that's probably put him in the position he's in today. So, Connor, do you reckon fullback's the most influential position in the game? Do you reckon that's evolved over, over the past few years? Yeah, in the last couple of years, it's definitely become the most important. You see all the teams that are successful, they've all got really good fullbacks. And, um, you know, that's why, you know, we've been able to make the finals the last couple of years, having KP there leading us around. And um, I think just as the games got faster, like fullbacks have just come more and more into their own. And um, yeah, they're really con controlling the games now. So JT kind of reckons Payne Haas might be the smoky. Uh, really? For the, for the players champion. What, what do you guys, yeah. what do you guys, when you're playing against him, do you just look at him and just go, genetic freak? Yeah, yeah, he's a freak. The thing about it is, but KP sits at the back, so he doesn't have to tackle him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the middle there, and yeah, when you when you come up against Payne, you're thinking about, okay, I've got to make sure my tackle's on tonight. I need to make sure I'm really good. But like, he's plays big minutes, does incredible amount of work, but then like at the end of the game, is also there to save the try. You know what I mean? Like, yep. that's that's yeah. the type of player that he is. He's just um. He's, he, he can do it all. Like when I, when yeah. I just yeah. as a fan, now where I watch him play, you, if he get if he's anywhere near the ball, you just know something's going to happen, which mm. you can't yeah. say for every forward. Every and ball. he's only he's only 20, 21, 20. I think 22, maybe. 22. Yeah. Like kiddies. Kiddies. He's so young. To have such a big motor is crazy. He's going to be tormenting Queensland for a while too, Kalen. <sighs> Should be playing for us. I'm like yours. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look, it's it's yeah. You know, when it comes down to it, uh, it's these these are a great bunch of players, and uh, and mm -hmm. Payne being the only forward there, uh, he's he's done well in such a short space of time. Uh, fellas, tell us about life at the moment. Obviously, you, you're cruising southeast Queensland uh, post season for you both. I'm, I've I've got to admit, Connor, I was a bit worried about the bromance and whether it would continue with you, your move back to the Roosters, but it's looking safe. <laughs> yeah. You you're not the only one. There's been a few people that are um, a bit filthy at me for leave, leaving KP. and I was filthy. Yeah, <laughs> he, was, he was definitely filthy. But, um, yeah. like, you know, relationships, they're bigger than the game of football. And I had a, chat, a good chat about this with Daniel Safidi the other day. And, um, you know, as much as he was off me for leaving, he's happy for me and um, just wants me to be successful and, and do my best. But, yeah, you know, me and KP have been living together for three and a half years now. And, mm. I don't think um, our, our bond's going to end just because I've changed teams. As much as um, the week leading up to when we verse each other, that we might want to take each other's head off. After that, it'll be all love. So yeah, I'll be out for six weeks before my head high. <laughs> <laughs> what are nah, you? No, nah, I just want what's um, as long as he's happy, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and you keeping busy up there, fellas? Trying to. I mean, just enjoying the sun, enjoying um, a bit of downtime. It was a big year for the, for us and the game. Um, but yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, Gold Coast is a very enjoyable place. It sure is. Um, Underrated, I reckon. Yeah, it is. Look out. Could be an investment opportunity up there. Uh, thanks so much, boys. Great to get so. your insights. Well done on a big year for you both. Connor, good luck at the Roosters and Kalen. Uh, enjoy the off-season. We'll see you next year. For thanks, the thanks, thanks for having Bruce. us. Thank you. Appreciate on you, boys. Great stuff. Great to have you here. The best of rivals. And aren't they going to be just that next year as well? Quite the short list for the finalists for the Players' Champion Awards. And be sure to watch Nine's exclusive grand final coverage for Telstra Premiership 2021, where we'll announce the winner of the Players' Champion. See you then.